So, hello, hello. The earlier I would start today, the earlier I would finish and I hope I will get good sleep today. So, it's the ninth video in a series of my experiments with programming inspired by different game mechanics. In previous video I was implementing the stuffs that would help me to visualize some letters as a text on a screen. I succeeded, made a project out of it, and that's it. So today I wanted to show an example of how a jump can look like for people who haven't seen jumping mechanic in a game, right? So let's dive into it. I hope you can see everything as intended. So we push start button, choose for one, nice. When we say jump mechanic in 2D, there are many, many, many different ways how you can implement them. And I'm thinking of a particular one. So what I expect from it? It should be about the height of a person who is jumping or a square. There is this visual mechanic of it moving a bit to the bottom and then to the top, but it's not the point. So what we can do here... If we play and let's play a bit. Okay, so what's here? Latest level. Huh? We're streaming after all, right? Okay, and how should I... About three? No, I don't need your explanations. Nice. Interesting. Of course I can't finish it. But how am I gonna... So if I do like this... Hmm... Interesting. If I do it like this now, it wouldn't move there. Would it be enough? No, it should not be enough, right? Oh my god. No. <laughs> nope. Shouldn't work like that. What can I do? Hmm. Even if I do it like that. So, okay, this is one version. It allows me to... Doesn't seem right to me. Of course, we can. Interesting. What would happen here? Uh, no, it's not working. That's, I guess, the only thing that I have here, but for some reason. So, what can I do? No, I don't want a hint. I want to solve it myself. 
So these are putting it here. The limit for my boxes is four. So it's not that much that I can do with it. So for example, if you see this, it wouldn't even trigger the door. And I need at least four of height to use it. Uh, no idea. Why well, have idea? Let me think of it. It seems that I can do something. But is it? Nah. Not like that. I wouldn't be able to move. Hmm. Mm, nope. I can't start it here. I have a stupid idea if I can jump on the spring and maybe try to do it like this. But not exactly. Ah, how would I? Hmm. Nope, too early. One, two, three, four. Why so slow? Come on. Nope, too early. Okay, one more time. Feels like there is a deal. Oh my god, there is a delay. No. <laughs> okay, that's fun to know. No, I couldn't do my boxes, even if I would finish them. No, it shouldn't be like that. Too difficult. Okay, what's the hint? Oh, press and hold. Uh, yes. So what? Oh, you... Oh, my. It's okay. It says like, oh, you can finish it like this. Okay, I know I can finish it like this. I don't know how to... How to take a crown. You bastards. That was actually a rubbish approach. Hmm. So yeah, I have spikes at the bottom. I have the springs. How would they help me? Yeah, I know about this. Oh yeah, great hint. I know. Beautiful. So, okay, let's do it simply. No, I can't do it here. And I can't move around, even if I would finish it here. Okay. No, it's not working like that. There are no, there is no way to get new abilities and move back to this level. So everything I need for this puzzle is right in front of me, except my thinking. I mean, so why? What can be done? So, for example, this is not an approach. Okay, so... Has a 
quite high jump. I'm doing it closer. Nope. Why wouldn't you do anything? I need only one box and you do nothing. I mean, I need to like this. Ah, oh, okay. So there is this mechanic. I should make it faster. Okay, couple more tries. First one. So shitty. Okay. This one. It's too early. This one. Nah, it's too early. This, this is my only idea. So, I mean, you see, right? I have this column of boxes. I have the height of four. The only issue I have, I can't actually jump from this structure. Hmm. It's okay. Whoa, okay. I have no idea how to finish it. And I don't actually care that much. So that was it, the level of this puzzle game. Gonna get back. Oh, we have one more. Like the finishing one. Okay, limit of box columns. Hmm. So we have spring if we have these. Ah, okay. So they they want me to do like this. Then they want me to do like this. Easy. So what we have here? Somehow we have to. Okay, I see. Mm-hmm, okay. Nope, not like this. How would you drop it? No, I want to... Oh, understood. So the idea is that I want to jump here, take the crown. Yep. Then I want to look here. And do like this. Boom. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Makes sense. Still same trick. That's it. So we got all the achievements. 27. And uh, not. that's not it. I can spend less of them. Hmm, interesting. So that's it for jumping mechanics. Now, what can we see? The world is finished and I got something. A square, going one. Rectangle front. Oh, 
So sweet. <laughs> okay, let's dial it a bit back. So, I wanted to show something with jumping, and I hope I succeeded with it. Right? So, now I need some time for preparation, because, well, it's sort of uh, boring to describe. I need to play around with some chords to make my second screen work. Just give me a second. Hope it wouldn't be too noisy for you. So... Let it goes here. Nice second screen. So I can move some of my stuff around. Uh, nope. White sun named. Okay. Uh, do I need this? Probably, yep. So where is my IDE? Da -da 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 -da. So let's start with opening the project. Now I want to open open new one. It should be about jumping. Have I fixed it? Probably yes. Trust this window. Mm hmm Oh, I definitely should change this. Jump a lot. Sorry. Jump in. Mm hmm Ah, looks decent. So what else I need? I need my rain sound and to find the browser screen. Browser window, where are you? Get back here. Okay. So, I hope it wouldn't be loud enough to help me. Hmm. Why? Is it too hot? Just a second. Technical issues. Sounds like it's using too much resources, but for what? Oh yeah, I guess for streaming. Makes sense. So yep, would it work? I hope. Yep. Uh, and you can see it's not working. Now it's working. Was there anything interesting? Nah, not so much. Okay, so that this is a project called it Jump a Lot, because we're planning to jump a lot, you know. I need to move here. Rup. Rup. The sound of rain. Beautiful. Let me put my headphones, take my keyboard, and we can. And we can actually move back to the task that I described at the beginning. So jumping, how can we approach it? How can we start with it? And how we actually gonna write some code to make something, some resemblance of jumping. So why, why it's so distant from me, okay. So, there is not yet a uh, repository for it, and that's fine. Let's start with the simplest form. We open desktop, we found this launcher, we can see text. Let's rename it to something like jump in the whole project. 
refactor do refactor and what I got jump what I got here it's also jump it still takes shower uh, I think it should be renamed jump jump one why it doesn't uh, there is no big value in precious naming right now or oh, precise naming precious also sounds great so just to be sure that this project is about jumping and not about drawing some text so what we got right here let's start the project can we do it please yep. or run with some with with some thunderstorm and what we got okay we can it's like wide okay it's moving why it was moving so fast at the beginning really interesting so we can see that we can see coordinates right on the screen and that's beautiful what I wanted to do I'm opening jumping JDX I want to show to make speed a bit slower just because why not and next thing uh, if we're using coordinates right and these coordinates we have X and Y components so first things first we have X we have Y Carthesian, I would call it like that. We have here something like one, and we also have here something like one. Jumping means we have to move to a certain point, and then we have to move back. If we, we are jumping and also adding horizontal movement, then we probably should see something like this or something like this and well let's start from this uh, vertical one and I don't want to use any particular button right now I want to do something a bit sillier I would say so I do know that I have internal counter for frames so you know 60 FPS 60 frames per second and I thought why don't use this information for just automated movement of my square from bottom to top to bottom to top and so to infinity and there is only one reason why I can do it right now because I need additional variable so private int counter and I would call it a zero. Every time I would add a delta plus delta, I guess iterations. Yes, iterations is zero. Every time this stuff happens, I want to add counter exactly exactly one because why not uh, every time when this FPS counter how would I calculate it so okay let's start from something okay so let's calculate player collision apply input okay something of here state player x uh, player what's the problem okay so x equals to fps counter let's check it out it's a small change nothing should so Nothing should be broken 
as you can see when I'm moving the screen it's it is considered to be paused so there is no delta there is no time change neat so this is a weird jump if we are running on the walls so let's change this position to Y and pretty fast okay smooth movement where would it go later I guess it would be limited or not yep limited nice what I wanted to do when it reaches the top I would like to move it to the bottom hmm makes sense so let's add private boolean variable moving upward true so how would I use it okay FPS counter would be FPS I uh, would how would I hmm let's make a moment it's sort of a hack direction multiplied by one uh, so the idea is that when I move to maximum of my height I want to change direction and as I know I'm moving only across one axis of Y I can change direction by simply changing one to minus one and that's it the only thing that I need is something like if if something like change direction Oops, sorry. Direction equals minus one. Else, if reached bottom and direction equals minus one then we should change direction uh, no that's not what I want thank you I hate it uh, let's do it like this nope mm-hmm mm -hmm. no seriously okay so what am I missing now? Yep, I can see that I need direction equals to 1. So in each case, uh, FPS counter would contain some value and I can play with it all I want. So probably we should start not from the Y called 0, but from the Y that is equal to... Mm, how would I where I get it where is this value site is 100 so for simplicity's sake let's start from if it's a square let's start this counter from uh, private whoa sorry private int side 100 so we can choose FPS counter that is starting from site yep makes sense we have initialized it later 
Mm -hmm. So we start from 50 and we are moving it to the top till where is the game state? It's static class, but where's the instance? We also have instance right here. We actually can use these as they are set as variables. Okay, let's state player side. It will make even more sense. So, it wants to tell me that I have a problem because I'm using floating point values. It means that I can lost some precision because I have value something like 15 dot something something and when you turn it into integer you would lost dot something something and you should be aware of that when you're working with arithmetics but for me it's not an issue so I can do simple rounding operation just don't care about rounding errors in this particular case everything should be fine um, but actually let's use these we're gonna reuse these so it would make sense for us to half side and the type is integer FPS counter equals to half side. I'm running a bit in front of a train, I would say, and doing optimizations, but I do know that I need I would need this half side to actually calculate if I reached the top of the screen. Because how else I'm gonna know that if I reach the top, which equals to uh, game state or state screen max height minus half site and direction equals equals one. What's your problem? Oh, sorry, half site uh, screen FPS counter. Okay makes sense why yep don't need it here and if a piece counter is exactly uh-huh and direction is minus one I can change it to the opposite. So let's test it out. So I have a problem. Let's try to solve it. Finished with non-zero exit value. Okay. Was there anything done actually? Oh, no pointer exception. Makes sense because player because state is null. So you want to say I can't use it here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I would call it like this. Would it be fine for you? Uh, let's check it out. I expect it to move to the top. I haven't seen the beginning, sorry. So I expect it to move to the top. and then move to the bottom you can say it's moving too slow can you make it faster yes i can not right now let's check that our jumping or bouncing actually works as intended yep great so how would i make it faster mm Hmm. good Go you asked we have this direction and this multiply by one why not make it multiply by ten and see what we got now. Mm -hmm. Almost like I can say that it's a ball that is jumping because it has like same speed for falling and jumping to the top, but it makes it really, really efficiently. 
So okay, what else can we do? I would say that jumping that high is a bit of a stretch. So let's use our height as something like half sight. So we, we would consider this to be a super jumper. So about eight. Half sights should be enough. What kind of jump would it be? Well, looks good enough. Not sure that it looks like a jump, but it definitely looks like vertical movement. So, what we need now is this. This mechanic should be used only in case we want our like square to jump. So we, we actually should press something like a button. And I have a logic for handling spacebar that has nothing yet to do with Piper input, handle keyboard input. Okay, I can see WASD, that's fine. But I want to check where is my spacebar handling. Okay, key down. Uh huh, keyboard state, input state. So every time I hit space, there is something that I put. Uh -huh. And there is also key up event. Hmm. When 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 do I want to press it? There is an issue, I guess. Uh, would it happen? I do it. I don't care. So let's find the piece of code that actually checks if we use the spacebar. It's, it should be somewhere here. It's already there. Okay. Check exit, apply per input. So, for example, what should happen here? State of player. Okay. So, for example, our player has this jumping mechanic. And I would consider this to be part of his state. It has direction, it has speed, so why why can't it have, for example... Nope, not this. Not this. These... Jumping. False. And jumping would be public variable of boolean type, like true-false. Okay, nice. And we can use it later to actually calculate this FPS counter and all the smartness we have. So this FPS counter, it should be used only, only, oh, no, not VLC, sorry. It should be used only in case our state player Jump in is true. In all the other case, this should be ignored. Okay. And if it works like this, there is no mechanic for changing the Y. Yep. So now what we need is actually change this value. Okay, let's start from something simple. If we have keyboard, not sure what was used. If input state, keyboard key state get, keyboard space, we would consider this to be. Um, Nope, it's state. Player jumping true. And if everything was done correctly, we should see a square that is really exception. Let's check it. 
cannot invoke boolean value because the return value of java util get object is null okay mm that's correct it's definitely why why there is no compilation error seriously what the uh okay what should be returned from this it's boolean ah okay should i boolean false i guess and in my case if it's true so if it was pressed okay next try so you can see bum bum oh a slow movement and now i press the space bar that's it i'm ready to stop it so the only thing that is missing that when we're gonna stop jumping let's add a simple condition i'm not sure that it's really simple i'm not sure that it's really interesting sight but it's like a topic for another discussion without actual example of programming right uh, i have added this section of code that allows me to change this fps counter maybe i should call it something like jump fps counter because why not jump jump fps counter and yep so when we plan to change direction back to the upward movement we can actually say that state player jumping is considered finished and if everything works as expected we're gonna see movement to the right jump jump we can even move while jumping because it's like arithmetics everything plays nice sorry i just found out with jumps okay so we have jump in i i just hate this speed <laughs> sorry it just bothers me uh, okay okay oh much better it's jump in jump in so even if we press multiple times it doesn't matter much because jumping variable is changed exactly one time and it changed back to the false state at the end of a jump of course there are like multiple ways how we can improve this logic but i would say for current stream this is enough uh, i definitely got some movement i got some logic with handling of keyboard uh, it resembles jumping maybe in a bit like simplest way but it doesn't matter because we can make it more difficult and i would say nicer looking at any moment and for now it's decent it's much better than nothing and if you wanted to play around with this jumping go for it so let's finish and do the boring stuff yep you know when i took browser and i create new repository to call it something like jump lot an experiment with jumping mechanic enjoy and later i guess i can spend some time discussing like what can be improved or how can you approach or what are my next ideas for all this streaming stuff i'm not sure so okay let's get 
back to, you know, I've got feedback that this color is to contrast with the background. So if you're planning to look at this on your phone, then you're gonna have some eye tiring experience. I would suggest not watch this video on your phone because you either should listen to it or should check it out with your actual computer where you can try this code yourself. It would be much more joyful experience than just checking out how another random person is writing some code and running it in on his local computer. It's like really the most interesting stuff here is not my video to, to be totally honest. So what I need now, I need to initialize my, I don't want like that. Uh, I need to initialize my repository. Yep. So we need initialize it. Then I guess I need to add all the files. Do I have something with shower? Basic project, sorry, no. No shower here. No, that's... Uh-huh. So git add. Git commit. Jump in. What else do we need? All the setup for repository. Right. So give me... So this is the remote. Check. This is the branch. Check. And this is push operation. Up. Check. Okay. So back to rain effects. So we had this empty repository and now I've made some manipulations. And now we have this one commit that I made. It has the title jumping. All the code that you saw during my coding exercise, it's all right here. There is nothing I like try to try to hide from you. If you want to play with it, you have this desktop launcher. You have this build gradle, but I don't know why. Because reasons. Okay, I guess it's something created by GDX. Yep. If you're interested in this library, I'm sh I'm definitely gonna add a link here. It's like pretty robust library for playing around with Java, with Android, with game development, if you say so. It's not a Unity 3D level, but it's still nice way to start playing around with interactive software without learning all the details of full-fledged 3D engine or game engine, how you call it. Uh, I would say that I have no big uh, hopes that my videos will be the most entertaining, but I'm not sure that I have spent enough time describing like why would I even attempt uh, streaming something like programming what is my goal what is my i would say expectations of it because as i said i have no expectations to make this a super i say entertainment i would love to be i would love to move more to edutainment uh, field so that we can combine combine uh, some gaming some ideas and some programming into one session and the most obvious thing I'm not trying to plan this out before the session yes I'm re recreating new projects but it's done from previously existing code base so this one was started from this tech text shower project because why start from the empty project when you can start from a piece of code that is actually working Yep. So, what I want to say, uh, my idea is that programming shouldn't be uh, studied in a way like you 
you get this course about Java, you learn about language, and that's it. Now you're this Java developer, right? Or you get this Python, and now you're Python developer, because every developer should be, uh, I guess, bound to the language he learns to operate with the computer and so on. The idea is that programming can be a cool hobby in case you have some ideas, some thoughts, maybe some inspiration from other indie developers to try and script something, like write a program, and you have this idea that you want to do something, to, to you want to instruct a computer so that it can show you something that you really want. So it's like if you have a canvas, if you have paints and you try to draw something, you don't start from learning all the types of brushes and colors and everything. You have an idea, you take a pencil, you draw something. That's it. And I get, I would say it's really important approach to programming. Uh, of course, it may be not useful if you're trying to uh, build a professional software for aircrafts and everything. But as I said, it can be a cool hobby if you really want to spend some time with it. And it definitely requires some time. Uh, not the same time as if you would try to do something like blacksmithing or carpentry or anything else with physical world, but it still requires some time and computer and trying to get documentation. So back to the description. So, okay, I showed you that you can write something. Uh, I have no intention for of mine to force you to use only Java language, right? I would say that in some cases we have ideas in our heads that we think are great and we just live with them and do nothing and have no actual way of showing them to other people except maybe our friends or some who else would listen for us, our parents uh, and you have no meaningful way to show your idea because you haven't actually tried to turn it into reality and the beauty of programming is that you need some time you need some effort but you can actually turn your oh I would love to move this and jump and then there is some something with a sword and you hit it and you like victory so you can actually try to write a program that does exactly this and you can share not your idea but your actual implementation and you can learn from your implementation that hmm, maybe, maybe I should have chosen to add another guy with a sword because two guys with a, with swords is actually really cool, much cooler than one. So like this. So if you would find yourself inspired to do something and you would share it with other people, I think it would be much better for everyone. I would say like this. I have no much time to do everything on my own. So if some people would decide to write some code, to share their findings with other people, to try to make something more difficult, then probably we could find a way how to share knowledge, how to learn about technology, how to not be victims of, oh, you should learn this particular cool project like Unreal Engine or something. Yes, you can learn all the colors and all the brushes and all the paints, but if you want to accomplish something, to finish something, to play with working a prototype, it would be much easier if you actually can make a simple program that resembles your idea. That's my point. If there is a way how I can simplify it, not by making it for you, because I'm not a service for writing software for you, I'm trying to make point that if you know how to, I would say, if you have an idea and you have enough patience to keep this idea in your head and you still like it, and if you have, uh, I would say, technical, what would be the word, technical curiosity to try to turn it into program, then you probably would need IDE, uh, some language, some tutorials, and if I can simplify this step somehow by showing you an example, by showing you how you can approach uh, some simple programming, by showing you that you don't need all the 
language details like static something, methods, classes and everything to see something working and to play with it. You mean, I mean, writing a program can be a game of itself. It's a bit different from playing actual games, but you still can learn something, you can try something, you can stumble upon really difficult how to bosses, and you can actually overcome it if you want to ask questions, if you want to try it. Nah. So it's my point. The only way you can be better at programming or be better at some hobby is if you can find a way to drive your curiosity and not to feel frustrated if you took something too difficult. So these things, what I'm describing right, describing right now, should be, should feel like not the most difficult things. That you can take some code, you can play with text, you can try to hit this play button and see what's going on on the screen. If this uh, sounds like comfortable for you, then there is only a matter of your, I guess, time, mood, inspiration and everything, if you can turn it into something greater. Yep, that's it. And some technological knowledge, always fine. So that's it. This project is the sixth one. We have a group of them. I have nothing else to say regarding this topic. I hope you had great day. I wish you all great week. Play with your hobby, play with your time, play with your time. Have a nice... <laughs> I mean, I wish you all the best and 